Three years ago, a then 11-year-old Joseph Smith had an idea. He wanted his mom to help him create an organization that would be a vehicle for young people to do positive things. I want to do something different. Not all young people are getting in trouble. Not all young people are doing things wrong. Young Joseph was concerned about some of his cousins who now, had gotten caught up in the gang lifestyle. I feel sorry for a lot of young people who, who actually are involved in these things but don't know how to get out. Three years later, the group has blossomed to a roster of 16 young men. Joseph's older sister, Alexis, started feeling left out and said, hey, what about us girls? Let's not forget there's girls in gangs now too, you know. They don't have a positive, you know, influence to look up to and it's hard to find programs that really are legit and will be able to connect with the young people nowadays. And so there are 16 young ladies in the Inspiring Young Women program. Together, both groups do all kinds of activities. They take ballroom dance lessons every Tuesday, and they have a full slate of community service projects lined up this spring and summer. I've seen leaders developed. I've seen brotherhood and sisterhood developed. I've seen them be able to have conversations that empower each other. Peer pressure, though, is always something that has to be dealt with. Trying to separate just yourself from the group, not submitting yourself to peer pressure, you know, um, because there's not much to do, but I want that to change, and that's why I'm doing things with my brother, with the program he created, you know. And so responsible adults are always there, providing encouragement and support. That's where we as the adults in the background come in. That's why we're sort of invisible. It's their program, but we're here to give the support. When we see them getting off track, you know, we're there to just gently nudge them back where they're supposed to be. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.